Hello everybody and welcome to the Carousel of Connor. For the first time in a very long time, we are doing another resort tour here. This time at French Quarter in Disney World. Let's go check it out. Carousel of Connor. Port Orleans French Quarter is a moderate resort hotel themed after the historic French Quarter in New Orleans. Cobblestone streets, gas lamps, jazz, you name it. This resort is home to one of the coolest pool slides on property and if that isn't enough to stay here, French Quarter offers boat rides to Disney Springs. And did I mention the food? And guys, we're on the road to 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. Thank you so much for that. But to help us get there, guys, do not forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, also ring that notification bell so you get an update every time I post a new video. Thanks again. We're actually gonna start at the front of the resort today. So if you're staying at the front of French Quarter, this is going to be the right side, and this is where you would go to get like your wheelchair rentals and things like that, your scooter. So uh, it's good to know that. And then we'll go to now to the right side where we'll go see where the bus stops are. And like I just promised guys, we're now on the right side where this is the two different uh, bus stations. And you, you can see over here on the marquee, you got Animal Kingdom, Epcot, Blizzard Beach, Typhoon Lagoon, Disney Springs on that first station. And then of course Magic Kingdom and Hollywood Studios on the second. What's kind of nice too is it looks like cast members kind of laid out a little thing here for people to remind them of the park reservations which I think is like super important because I, I do feel like a lot of people forget that you always see especially you know when you're going into the parks as like annual pass holder you always see people kind of getting out of line because you know they forgot to do like the park reservation so I think that's good that they have a little reminder here for the guests and like most of the bus stops at the resorts they do have a nice like TV screen here which has all the different times the buses are supposed to be coming in and out and you know the, the what the weather is going to be like for the day as far as temperature wise and things like that so I feel like that's also like really good too it's very informative and also if you get thirsty here you go guys you have a soda machine as well and uh, water and now we're actually walking into the resort here this is the main entrance and we're going to see exactly what the lobby looks like as soon as we open those doors and here you go guys and what I love about this resort too is like as soon as you walk in you kind of get thrown into like that Mardi Gras themed you can obviously see the fountain here too with all the different like Mardi Gras coins thrown in and then you can see like the plaques up there too with some like court gestures so very like heavy Mardi Gras theme, which I think is awesome. Good Disney theming. I also like all the windows they have in here too. It's like great like natural lighting too, especially to go to the front as well. And then of course like the kind of like bricks uh, on the side too. I feel like that's like a really cool uh, feel. Almost feels like you're kind of like outside and uh, it's just really nice. And to the right of the entrance is the main lobby. So when you walk in on the right side is that main lobby. This is where you would check in, where if you have any problems, go to the guest services, things like that. You can also see uh, baggage is over there as well. It looks like there's like a scooter over there too. So maybe they do some of the like scooter reservations in here. But yeah, basically if you have any issues or you know, you're checking in, checking out, this is where you want to go. So here they have a poster for February talking about all the different activities they have here. So it has like your poolside activities too, like different games they play, different arts and crafts. It also says, you know, if you look right here, you can see it has like a money sign. So you know that those cost money, you know that that's like for free. And then of course they have like different trivia, stuff like that. And then a uh, movie under the stars as well. So it says like what building it is and like where they do that. And they have a cool pool, which we'll see later on in the video. One thing I just noticed too on the bottom here, this is kind of cool, it's a little scavenger hunt they have for the world's 50th celebration. I think that's like really awesome. And uh, yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. You go to the front desk for that. And also in the lobby too, they have like a little seating area here so that, you know, kids and, and you know, their family members or, you know, whatever can wait here uh, while, you know, people are checking out or things like that. So nice little area. So next we're going to look at the gift shop here at French Quarter and this is called Jackson Square, which looks pretty cool. So let's go inside. So here at the gift shop, we're going to look at different merchandise they have here at French Quarter because I recently did do a poll on my channel and, you know, I want to know what you guys want to see. Was it park vlogs? Was it more like merchandise vlogs? And a lot of you guys say, did say uh, merchandise vlogs. So we are going to do some merchandise today. Obviously, you know, going forward, we'll have more, you know, just merchandise uh, videos. But today, I am going to show you guys some of the exclusive French Quarter merchandise they have here at the gift shop. So one of the cool exclusive things I found right off the bat was this Scats Cats Club cup here which is pretty cool and this is let's see $22.99 check out the details this is actually the front of it and then I guess this would be the back or vice versa they have really cool collar shirts as well Port Orleans French Quarter would be great for like a dinner here um, you know it's also like a polo which is really nice it's short sleeve $44.99 for that and it looks like they only have smalls and mediums out here but you know I'm sure you can ask in the back too if they had more and just like those cups we saw, they have Scats Cats live jazz here as well. Uh, T-shirts, I think these are actually like really cool. They have a nice amount of sizes too. This is the front, what we just saw was the back. 
and check that out. And let's see how much this is. I'm guessing like 25, so 29.99. So right around what I thought, pretty much, uh, but not bad for you know a resort shirt. And then over here they have like a nice little pullover. I actually love pullovers too. And this is Tommy Bahamas. So, you know, one, it's gonna be nice quality, but two, it's probably gonna be a little more expensive. And that's absolutely right. It's $115 for this, but it is really nice. Um, I would never pay this much for, for something like this, but you know, I wouldn't knock if you did. It's very like high quality. I know Tommy Bahamas good stuff and uh, it is, you know, kind of nice. And then for girls too, they have these really nice French quarter shirts too with Tiana, which I think is like a really cool touch. And let's see. $34.99 because you know she is the princess I would think of you know when I'm thinking about this resort uh, you know very like you know New Orleans themed but they have a lot of different sizes here so it's pretty neat and we saw those cups earlier but here are some mugs too and this kind of looks like the front of a uh, French Quarter which is kind of neat and you look you can also if you look in there you can see like Tiana's uh, in the one window as well which is kind of neat and these are $14.99 for these mugs and then they also have a lot of the French Quarter merchandise as soon as you walk in on the main table here so for $9.99 they have these really cool magnets here too, super thin, almost looks like, like a jazz poster kind of too, which I think is like pretty cool. Here we're looking at the Port Orleans uh, French Quarter pin here with Tiana on it, $9.99 for that pin, which I feel like is not bad for a resort pin either. And if you love Tiana, I'm sure you love this. And they also have like a really cool picture of the front of French Quarter Resort, or this actually might be behind it, but you see it's like dated and everything like that. And it has a uh, vacation memories on the back, so like a little like saying on there and I, I think it's you know yeah it's like a little note about the artist too and here's some other pins they have too this one's for riverside which is like their neighboring uh resort and then they also have another french quarter pin here too let's see if i can get that to focus a little better uh mickey and minnie on this one let's see how much this one is so that's a silver and this one i think has an actual price tag so the other one the riverside one would be 9.99 and behind the counter too, I see they actually do have Disney pin trading, which is fun that they do have, you know, Disney pin trading back. It's not exactly what it used to be, but it is pretty cool that they are bringing it back in some kind of form. So way, way in the back is the food court. Right there is the gift shop, which we came out of. And right here is the arcade. So this is the South Quarter Games, and this is where, you know, is the arcade is. So this is like the first room. It looks like there might be multiple rooms in here. They have a lot of different games. This one has like a little bit of everything, which is cool. Oh yeah, this is a lot bigger. Uh, Space Invaders, and they also have Mrs. Pac-Man too. So yeah, here's a whole nother room too. And this is actually really cool. They have like massage chairs. They also have, I don't even know what this is. Let's go find out here. Oh, I think it's like to get your picture taken with Marvel characters, which is actually really cool. And then check out the Pac-Man board here. It actually says Port Orleans French Quarter, which is kind of neat. Here's like your recharge station where you get like all your tickets and things like that. And then you can see all the different games too they have in this second and third room. I did just want to note one thing too, guys. Check out the Guards of the Galaxy pinball machine. That's really cool. And also the Tron pinball machine as well. That also looks really awesome. Right outside the arcade too, they actually have a portable chargers machine, which I think is like, you know, super helpful. And see here it says a full rod kit is like 30 bucks. So I don't know exactly how much everything will cost, you know, in the long run, but it is cool they have that, especially if like you forget your charger at home or, you know, something along those lines. I'm absolutely starving guys. So we're actually gonna go into the Sassagula Float Works and Food Factory here, which is the food court here at French Quarter. So let's go get some food. And as you can see by this sign, it says that it's open from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. at night. So 11 o'clock at night, I feel like that's pretty good. Before you even go into the food court, they have a menu here and some pictures of the items too, so you get like a better look before you go in. You can also have the QR code to do the mobile order, which is nice. And then if you go right over here, this is where you'd actually go and order the food. So inside the food court, like most Disney food courts too, they have like different like themed areas too. So this is kind of where it's like all the traditional stuff, you know, for like Mario Girl and things like that. You see they have Jumbo Live for $10.99, Gumbo for $8.99. And here too, you can see some of the items here too. They have like the vegetables. They also have some like pre-made like salads and sandwiches too, which is kind of cool. And of course they have like chips and you know, dressing as well. Over here is kind of like the more like Italian theme too. And then you also see they have like kids options for everything. But like I was saying, they do have chicken parmesan pasta over here for $12.99, uh, pasta meatballs for $12.49. It's a lot of different options, pizza, different things like that. So two, and they also see they have like chicken fingers and breadsticks as well. And over in the middle here too, it looks like it's mostly just like desserts and different things like that. I do see they have a 50th anniversary cheesecake too, which you know looks pretty delicious over there. So a lot of different options here. Here's a look at that cheesecake too. It looks really good for $5.99. And it's got the little 50th emblem too, which is kind of cool. And one good thing to know too as well, they do have mobile order pickup here. So if you want to kind of save yourself from the lines, which you can save right now, 
we don't really have to worry about that, but if you did want to save, you know, from the lines, you can do the mobile pickup order, which, you know, it's going to save you some time, especially in Disney when, you know, you're trying to get everything done in a certain amount of time. Then they have like a little centerpiece here too, which has like all your drinks. You see they have like Nesquik, uh, chocolate milk. They also have Disney's kind of chocolate milk, water. Uh, I see Truly's, uh, Blue Moon, so they have alcohol as well. Uh, apple juice, I don't know if I mentioned that. They even have wine. I see some yogurts, some fruit parfaits, soda, vitamin water. So they got a little bit of everything here. Yeah. And over on this side too, it looks like they got some like healthier options too. They have obviously have fruit here for $2.29, but they also have cereal for $2.99. And then uh, cereal with milk is gonna be $4.99. So it's extra, what, $2 to have the milk. Also before the checkout too, they have a bunch of different like snacks, chips, uh, Rice Krispie treats and different things like that. And then if you go over here, here's all the prices for it. So it's $5 for Rice Krispie treats. They also have like cookie bars for $2.99. So a bunch of different items. And let's see if we get a little closer to so you guys can actually read that. Yeah, but uh, I love a good chocolate chip, uh, chocolate dipped Mickey Rice Krispie Treat, and that's also $4.99. The centerpiece inside the actual like food court is like really awesome too, where you actually order the food. It's like a bunch of bottles, and you know you have a lot of like natural light kind of coming in, which is kind of cool. But then they also see they have the lights too, which is like reflecting off the bottles. That's really awesome. Here's a look to inside the dining room, and there's even more seating over this way. Uh, past that little like archway there so plenty of seating inside here too and of course we'll go over to like the soda machines and everything uh, in just a moment but this is where like the main seating area is and they have a lot of seating especially right now where you know it's not a, you know a real busy time and then over here they have like more like grilled items too they got the prime rib dip which is what I'm gonna get I know it's not like traditional Mardi Gras food but this is kind of what I'm in the mood for it's really good that's 11.49 those have like pulled pork cheeseburgers different things like that as expected so good I, I, I love this item like I said, I could have went for like traditional Mardi Gras food because, and I thought that would have been good, but at the end of the day, this is what I really wanted, and uh, it's just really good. So if you are here and you know you're not kind of feeling the Mardi Gras food on a certain day, definitely try this. You have my stamp of approval. It's really good. And then as promised, guys, over here is like where all the drinks are and everything like that. So obviously, you know, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen these too if you've been to any of like the Disney resorts. But I have like different options. Even if not, a lot of other places have them too. They have jo Joffrey's coffee here as well. You can see you get like the different sizes there. And then all, also the different kinds of coffee. And then you have all your condiments and things like that. Napkins, stuff. Uh, I know like honey mustard things are on the other side. And then also too, they have Gold Peak uh, tea as well. You get sweet and unsweetened. Some of like the signage and uh, pictures inside the cafeteria too are like really cool too. They got like, he says right here, Sasakula Float Work Factory and different things like that. You'll see a king of the carnival. So little, little cool like signs, you know, great for theming and things like that. Actually over at this table too, they actually have a TV playing uh, Timon and Pumbaa. I think it's like a TV show from Disney Channel. It's kind of cool they have like some entertainment too, especially if you have kids, uh, definitely keep them occupied. Another really good touch of theming here too is all the different uh, like masks they have too for Mardi Gras here on the wall in this like display here. Pretty neat. So we're inside Scat's Cats Club Cafe, which is like the uh, bar here inside the resort, but it's also where you get the beignets too. And you see there's a big line for the beignets, they're very good. And here is the menu for Scat's Cats Club Cafe. You see you get three beignets for $6.99, six beignets for $10.99. I know beignets. The Mickey Chabonniers are like one of the more like popular things here. It also comes with like different uh, dipping sauces as well, which is additional. Well, additional sauce would be 99 cents. Uh, dipping sauce does come with it with, you know, one, but they have salted caramel, strawberry, or uh, cho uh, chocolate ganache, I think it is. And check out this too. They actually have one too where you can get filled with like Irish rum, Kahlua, rum chata. So that's pretty interesting. So I've actually tried the beignets before and I am going to show you guys the review from that. It was on my Patreon channel. So if you guys actually want to see you know, more content like that, I'm going to link my Patreon channel right here because we do stuff like that, different dining reviews, different ride POVs, different things like that. It's all on my Patreon channel. And again, I'll be linking that right below. They're pretty good. I don't know. I, mean, I remember these being like a little better, but they are pretty fresh. They're not like greasy. They're good. I like them a lot actually. I've been hearing a lot too that the beignets aren't that good. But I would say these are better than not good. Like I, I, I would get these again. They are actually pretty decent. Another thing that's really cool too about Scats Cats is they do have performances here starting at 7.30 it looks like. Yeah, first performance begins at 7.30. 
opens every day from 5 p.m. to 12 a.m. And there's like the stage two where the band must play. But that's really cool. I did not know that about Scatscott. I didn't know they had, uh, I didn't know they had live performances here. So now we're actually outside the, another entrance for the gift shop. And here's the hours for the gift shop, 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. So that's good to know. And if you go right over here, you can see there's like a little outdoor seating too. If you want to eat outside, especially on a day like today where it's like almost like 80, it's like 83 or something like that or around there. So, you know, it's a pretty good day to, to sit outside and, and just, you know, enjoy the weather. And here's the outdoor entrance for the arcade as well. And good to know, guys, it's actually open 24 hours. So you can do this all, you know, wee hours of the night <laughs> if you want. But I'm sure most of you are probably tired by then. So that's pretty much it for like the main hub. I feel like we checked out most of the stuff inside the arcade, you know, the gift shop, the lobby, you know, the different food options there. Now we're going to go kind of around, look at the different like sections of the resort. And also, you know, like obviously like the playgrounds, the pool, which I always know is big, and some of like the transportation options too, besides the buses, which we already looked at. And to help us kind of direct around here too, here is the directory, which is perfect. It actually does have a map of Riverside as well. So if you're thinking this looks super big for the French Quarter, it's because it is. This is just French Quarter right over on this bottom part, and then Riverside is up top. And then of course you have all the different options here, but that's one of the great things about this resort is you are so close to Riverside that you can use their different dining options and, and things like that. So uh, super cool. And we're gonna look more into this too as we make our way around here because we're starting right here and I think we'll go to the pool next. So right behind here you guys can see a playground. There's nothing like crazy about it. It is Mardi Gras uh, colors but you know I'm sure for kids you know they'll have a blast either way. And then right here you have the sign the playground is going to be you know obviously right there. And look at too it is wheelchair accessible which is really nice. And then buildings one, two, and three are over on our right. Four, five, and six, and seven are gonna be on the left. And of course the pool's gonna be straight ahead which is where we're gonna head next. So here are the different rules for the playground as well. And you can see it's for children's five to 12. And before you head into that pool area too, here's another recreation activity sign. It's the same one we saw inside, same information. But uh, this actually has the movies on, which I think the other one might have the movies on too, but they have Lady and the Tramp, Remember the Titans, Soul, and Lilo and Stitch. So a good choice there too. And I don't know if I saw this before too, but they actually do have a campfire here from 5.30 to 6.30, and that's located at French Quarter. Now the s'mores are gonna cost money, and um, it's all right by buildings five and six, but at 5.30 every night they are do roast marshmallows with cast members, and that sounds like fun. Right outside the playground too, they have some alligators, you know, playing, you know, different kinds of instruments, which, you know, obviously this would make for great, you know, photo ops and things like that when you're, you know, going to a resort. And it's kind of a cool, just like walkway up, you know, leading up to the pool. So here's a little like spot area over here that you can go to. They also have like, you know, uh, like a wheelchair accessible uh, chair to, to put into the water, which is cool. And here are the hours for the pool as well. It opens at 10 a.m. in the morning and closes at 10 p.m. at night. And here's the outside look of the Mardi Gras pool bar. Actually pretty packed here for like an afternoon. You can see the sign up here, which is kind of cool. But yeah, here it is. And look, guys, too, you wouldn't eat today, but they do have like an outside heater, which is really nice to know. So when it is on those cooler nights, you have a heater there. You're not going to, you know, freeze to death. So here's the tail of the sea monster. And that's kind of what they're known for here at this pool. They have like a sea monster in the pool. And we're going to go take a better look at that in just a moment. Yes, yeah, so look at the sea serpent guys. This is actually really cool. You know, people can go and go down like the, the tongue of the sea serpent. And you can see the sea serpent kind of goes throughout the entire pool too. And you can see a little like water feature with the shells and stuff. Really cool themed pool. I like this lot and that looks like a ton of fun. So outside the gate now you can actually kind of see the kids pool area too. Which looks like a lot of fun too. I know kids always like that and I think it's like kind of for the smaller ages. If they're not ready for like that big slide that we already saw. So one of the coolest features about this resort, and it's actually right outside the pool, is they have a dock here for the boats that go to Disney Springs. And you see we just missed one going down the river now. It's going towards uh, Disney Springs. So that's actually a really cool feature. I know that Riverside also has that as well. And you can see too, guys, it does go to Disney Springs and also Riverside too. And you guys see there is, you know, a decent line for it, but nothing too crazy. But it's really nice feature of this resort that they do have transportation to Disney Springs. And they also have buses to Disney Springs as well, so you have two different ways to get there. So by looking at this side too, you can see that they have the different times for when the, you know, boats are running. It starts at 10 a.m. and ends at 11 p.m. One thing I want to say about this resort, and it definitely has something to do with like the day too, but it's just like a super nice place to, you know, walk around. They have really great like walking paths to, to walk around. There's a lot to see. There's a lot to look at. And I feel like it's just a nice 
um, resort to just be able to go around and just have those chill days and kind of hang out by the pool, walk around, explore a little bit. I feel like this resort does that really well. You have a nice water like right behind you. I know it's kind of weird to bring up like the lighting, but I, I do feel like the lights are actually really cool too. I'm sure at night this looks really awesome like on like if you are like walking around and then you can see different signs too are really like you know well themed to like New Orleans and you see it's like carriage path, different things like that. But yeah, again, I know lights aren't a big deal, but I do feel like these fit the theming like really well. You see that guys, you can see one of the boats going right by now. Let's see if we get anybody to wave to us. There we go, we got someone to wave. Here's a cool map of the South School of River ports and landings. And you can see the boats are right there, but this is actually really neat. So we already talked about how it goes from Riverside and French Quarter, but Old Key West and Saratoga are also a part of this. And there's three different stops at Disney Springs with the west side, the landing, and the marketplace. But that's kind of cool, old school map too, which I like. I was kind of looking for this before and I actually missed it, but when I was kind of talking about the trails here, I was thinking about the running trail. And here you go, it has like different options to do the running trail. And what's really cool, I think, about this resort is it's so close to Port Orleans that if you want to make it run a little longer, you can go over to Port Orleans. But it looks like their trail too might actually have you going into Port Orleans, which is kind of cool. But of course, there's all different like side trails you could do and everything like that. But if you know you're trying to keep up with the running, or if you're here for like a you know run Disney event, and you know you want to you know spruce up, you know warm up the legs, you know a couple days before things like that, I can you know of course like do a trail like this, which is always cool. And I always liked you know running on my trail just when I was eating all the food, it made me feel a little better. So here's a sign here too, guys, for the Cajun campfire. They did say it was between buildings five and six and you know there's five and six so right in this little area here i guess is where they must do the fire and that's cool too i didn't know that they did that i did know some resorts did like especially like fort wilderness i've seen old key west do it too but i do like how they have like campfire like different options too for like at night because i feel like sometimes with disney too i know it's like a family place and things like that but i, I always feel like things end like so early and i i, I guess this does kind of end early too but it is kind of nice that they have like a night activity too especially if you do come home from the parks like a little earlier it's cool that they have like you know an option of, of something to do rather than just like you know sitting in a room and here is the fire pit too so it's directly in front of uh, building five and this is where they would do like the the marshmallows and things like that I think it's the s'mores where like where extra money you get like a certain amount of marshmallows or something for free But this is where they do it Four, five, and six all the buildings actually like kind of go around this little like area here this little grass area Which is super nice especially if you have kids you just want them to get some energy out uh, Maybe they can just like run around here and have a good time But uh, I just want to show you guys that what it kind of looks like you know around uh, on this portion of the resort so it looks like this grass was struggling a little bit and they do have a sign over here that says, please pardon our appearance. We're in the process of replanting this area. So they're making it a little nicer. Uh, you can see some of the flowers are kind of falling over there, but I always like to show that kind of stuff too. Just because it's nice to know that Disney does do a pretty good job for the most part of keeping up on their resorts. And I feel like that's a great like Disney touch. It's one of the things that we always like too, because everything always looks new and then, you know, kind of refresh. And I do know like just from reading different websites and, and watching other like vlogs too, that some of that is lacking, you know, here and there, but but for the most part, Disney, I feel like, does do a great job with their landscaping. One thing that's kind of cool with the rooms, too, is, like, how the colors change, too, right? Because that's kind of like a reddish. This is, like, a white. And then over here, it's, like, brick. And then it's, like, blue. So I think I feel like that is kind of cool about, like, French Quarter. It's kind of like a mishmash of, like, different. We got the sun coming in here. But you have, like, a different uh, mishmash of, like, how the rooms look. And I feel like that's, you know, really awesome. And, you know, I've never been to New Orleans. But I have seen a lot of photos of it and this actually looks exactly like that. So I feel like that is like really cool. Especially like the downtown area, like Bourbon Street and things like that. And you guys can see this bridge right here and that's actually what separates Port Orleans Riverside and Port Orleans French Quarter. Here's the sign. If you follow this path, that will bring you to Riverside. And like I said, that's one, you know, the great, I feel like, uh, features of this resort too is that it's so close to Port Orleans Riverside. So you kind of get like, you know, you're paying for one resort, but you kind of get like two in, in that sense, you know, something else to do. And I think that's kind of cool. Cause before I lived here, I actually remember like as a kid, like that's one thing we used to do. We'd always have a day where we kind of would check out the resorts. I remember staying at Port Orleans Riverside. I've never stayed at French Quarter, but I have stayed at Port Orleans Riverside and I like, you know, distinctly remember like coming over here on like, you know, a day where we just kind of hung out at the resort and explored French Quarter a little bit, see what they had to offer. And then also did stuff over at Riverside too. So again, I think that's one of the great benefits of this that you get, you know, best of both worlds. One thing I think that's pretty cool, I actually just noticing this now, but all the streets kind of look like, like small streets. And you know, just kind of gives you that like old time, like you know, New Orleans kind of feel to it. And we're actually walking up on another thing I think that's neat is we talked about these signs before, but check down here guys, they actually have these signs for the different streets on the ground. So between buildings uh, six, seven, and I think four too, uh, they have this like little like water feature over here where the frogs are actually like shooting water into like the feature. And it's kind of nice. 
I know a lot of Disney resorts to do. They're not gonna be a place where you go and kind of just like chill out and just like enjoy like a little like water feature like this and sit by because you're, you know, you're paying so much money. There's so much to do here. But if you were gonna just like hang out, this is a really cool like relaxing spot. So now we're actually on the other side of the area where they have the campfire over there straight across. They, on this side they have like a little water feature. And then I can actually see across the street here, again, these like little cool streets that they got. They have another recreations activity. So really it's kind of hard to miss like the different activities they have here. And actually right near the pool too, they have the laundry room here. So you can see people are like washing and drying their clothes. Another good thing about this, not only is it close to the pool, but if you are doing laundry and you're kind of just hanging out, the pool bar is directly behind here. So you can get your drink on while you're doing some laundry. And we already kind of showed that that was like the front of the resort, but right over here they have the airport shuttle. And then I don't think I ever really showed this either, but here's the main parking lot too, which I don't think I ever showed this for the resort. So you can guys see where it is because there are the buses, which is what we looked at in the very beginning of this video. And that's gonna do here guys for the Disney French Quarter Resort Tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. I hope this was helpful for a lot of you guys too who maybe think about maybe staying at this resort for you know a future Disney vacation or maybe just want to tour. Maybe you're just nosy like me and just want to kind of see uh, what was going on here because it's been a really long time since I've been here and even then, I've never toured it like I did today. We're kind of looking at like every little thing. So I love doing these kind. I'm glad I was able to bring this back. We will be doing more shopping videos though because I know that's what you guys want. That's why I want to incorporate some shopping today. But thank you so much for watching guys and we'll see you on the next go around.